Hey everyone, it's Mike from Order Flows, and I'm excited to talk to you today about trading uh, order flow in the crypto markets. Now, you know that there aren't a lot of platforms out there that let you analyze uh, a footprint chart on crypto markets. And you know, I've been a big uh, advocate of NinjaTrader for you know almost the last decade, it seems. And you know, one of the problems was the analyzing the, the, the footprint chart with um, cryptos. And it, it was kind of difficult because, yeah, while NinjaTrader, you do have uh, access to the uh, Coinbase data feed for free. The problem was, um, you know, the way that it was handling the data was putting a big strain on um, the footprint charts. And, you know, plus, you know, add to that, you know, really, the only you have a couple of the contracts set up. You, know, you have to literally manually go in and set up you know all the other uh, coins other than Bitcoin and, and Ethereum, and it's just kind of a, a royal uh, pain in the butt to do it. And you know, Go Charting is a web-based platform that allows you to uh, pull up a, a footprint chart in, in a matter of you know just a few clicks. It uses the same data feed because you know I don't know I I, I use Coinbase for my crypto. Uh, trading. I don't know, do we really trade crypto, or you just buy and hold? Um, it seems that, you know, like for me um, and, and the people I know, we just buy and hold. But you know, there are people out there that uh, do like to trade crypto on an intraday basis. And you know, go charting. If you haven't looked at go charting, it's something that you should look at. You know, I'll just give you some of the the benefits as opposed to you know, go charting versus say Ninja Trader. You know, go charting is a web-based uh, platform, so you could access the charts. Um, you know, from anywhere without uh, having to install software on your PC, right? Ninja Trader, you have to download desktop software. I mean, yeah, technically they do have a, a web version coming out. I don't know where that is in the timeline. Um, you know, Gar Go Charting has a pretty intuitive interface um, optimized for order flow trading. Ninja Trader, you know, it's there's a learning curve involved. Um, you know, Go Charting has already in it advanced order flow tools and recently they just added my order flows trader suite so you know one of the other benefits is it's the the fees right for the charting right go charting has very low subscription fees compared to ninja traders um platform fee right if you want a, to buy the platform from ninja trader it's going to cost you like thirteen hundred dollars and you know and then you got to learn how to use the software it's, it's very difficult for some people you know trust me i've 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 give, sent a lot of customers new traders to ninja trader over the years um you know that wanted to trade order flow and you know there there is a certain percentage that just you know throw their hands up in the air with ninja trader say I, I can't it's too complicated for me to learn but you know to, to each their own so one of the things that i like about go charting is you know all the crypto pairs are there and you know you just want to have a system that you don't have to sit there and you know manually add the contract to. So, for example, right? You know, me, I'm I'm a futures guy, right? I trade futures, but I do get a lot of interest uh, from people that that want to use order flow on the cryptos. And the thing with trading order flow is, you know, you want to make sure your data is, um, you know, has integrity, is legit, right? You don't want to be getting data from some puny exchange that doesn't do a lot of volume. So, you know, Coinbase is, you know, in, in my opinion, a very solid exchange. You know, they do a lot of volume. It's one of the largest exchanges out there. And, you know, the data is reliable. And what's nice is, you know, I, I think you can subscribe to the data from go charting. It's, it's nothing. It's like $20 a month, you know, or whatever. But, you know, you got, you got everything in there. So, for example, right, if you want to uh, pull up the Bitcoin chart, now you can see in here, right, you've got, you know, one inch against Bitcoin, uh, you know, Cardano against Bitcoin, etc. And you can see which exchange is coming from Coinbase, 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 you know, all these um, different coins. It's already there. You could pull up the chart and it'll, it'll just come right up. So let me just uh, find, you know, the very basic one. Um, do, 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 I don't know. We'll, we'll do Bitcoin versus dollar, okay, because you know, I'm an American. And here you go. That's your footprint right there. Okay, you got all your your volume, your delta, um, and then when you start adding in things like my order flows trader uh, suite, right? You got other ways to analyze um, the data. You know, so it, it's a great way to use order flow on. 
crypto, right? And again, you know, whether you want to look at, you know, this is a five minute chart, you can do, um, you know, a 30 minute chart, it, it, see how fast it is. It's like, it's instant, right? You don't have to sit here and wait, you know, processing or something. Um, it's very quick, right? That's a 30 minute chart. You know, maybe you want to use a, a, a two hour chart. Okay, it's going, here you go, boom. Now again, you could expand it a bit, you know, to open it up. Um, you can make it bigger, smaller. Uh, you can do you can do a lot of things with uh, with go charting, right? This is one minute, right? Obviously, there's going to be little bits of gaps in here, uh, you know, on the one minute chart. For Bitcoin, I don't know. I like to use five minutes and um, you know thirty minutes and uh, one hour. But you can see where there's imbalances in here. Now, again, you know, one of the differences when analyzing uh, Bitcoin versus say a futures is, you know, a futures it's one contract. Right. Whereas Bitcoin, you know, you could buy ten dollars worth and, you know, you have to take that data and and put it into something useful. Plus, also, you know, it, it trades the way Bitcoin trades. You know, you could buy it at uh, twenty nine thousand four twenty spot zero zero six seven five. Right. And so, you know, you're going to want to aggregate the prices, um, you know, into something usable because you don't want to be you know on your axis of your chart being twenty nine thousand four one five spot. Uh, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, then spot 0, 0, 0, 0, 2, spot 0, 0, 0, 3. That was one of the problems that uh, I was facing with uh, Ninja Trader. Okay, but all the other coins. I mean, say you want to ship. <laughs> people, people ask me, you know, what what coins do you hold? I, I actually still hold uh, SHIB, um, you know, outside of Bitcoin. But you know, there's ways you can analyze this data that's very useful. This is uh, some of the, the signs in from the order flows trader, right? These you see these red arrows, which is bearish here coming in, um, you know, right before this little sell off. But uh, you know, there's so many different ways you can analyze order flow on crypto. It's, it's, go charting is really a, a game changer in my opinion. Now I do realize that there are, is one or two other uh, sort of competitors to go charting that do offer. Um, a web-based footprint chart, but they don't have a lot of the tools. The one nice thing about go charting, which really um, I can appreciate, because you know, as an order flow trader and software developer, you know, I've worked with a lot of programmers over the years, and not all of them understand order flow. But the guys at go charting, they're all in on order flow. They 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 understand order flow backwards, forwards. You know, I've had a lot of chats with them um, just on. The markets in general, not just crypto, but you know, the U.S. markets, uh, the India markets, and you know they understand it, right? And they understand its importance, and, and order flow for them is you know a priority. It's not something like, oh, we have a charting platform, let's put a footprint chart on there because you know a lot of people like to trade order flow. No, these guys they get it, right? They understand it, and sometimes you know when we were working together to put my uh, order flows trader platform on their platform. You know, my add-in, um, you know, I didn't have to sit there and spend an hour explaining to them. I said, you know, this is what I wanted to do. You know, it looks at this relationship between, you know, the delta and the volume, et cetera, here. Then it should highlight this bar and things like that. You know, they, they understand it. And that's important, right? Because, um, you know, a lot of people like to copy things, right? They, but they don't, they copy things without understanding it. But, you know, at least the guys at GoCharting, they understand it, right? And when things that they don't understand, they come to me because I created a lot of these tools that are out there with order flow that have been copied by other vendors. Um, you know, this is, uh, so that, that ship, right? Um, you know, Doge, <laughs> you know, if you want to pull up Doge, you know, people laugh at me with these, these coins, but, um, you know, there's your footprint, right? It's nice, nice and very easy to see whether you want to look at it on a, on a five minute chart or, you know, an hourly chart. You know, if you want to add the value areas, you know, it's really simple. Uh, where are you here? Value areas here. Do, do, do. You know, I'll okay. extend it out, make it a little bit, it's kind of white, it's a little hard to see. Make it a bit gray, change the opacity. Um, you know, one of my favorite things, you know, which I convinced them to add, and they made it uh, sort of a native thing in there. Whoops, that's the VWAP marker. Uh, where my value area extension here is to draw out these areas of value area. Right. This is, you know, they said, you know, if anything, you got to put it in there. You'll make it a default setting so all users can can use it, not just uh, 
users of the order flows trainer because it's a very powerful tool, right? You have value areas overlapping, then you have a value area here, and then you don't trade back into value. Market's starting to move away from value. That's important information as a trader, right? Imagine, right? This is, what is this? Doge. <laughs> Sorry, I forget, even though it says right here, Doge US uh, D. Um, you know, that's a nice move if you're a scalper, right? There's, you can take advantage of these moves, right? And you can see when a market is potentially shifting to the downside. So again, you know, if you haven't checked it out, you, you got to check out Go Charting for trading crypto. Um, yeah, honestly, it's, you know, in my opinion, it's, it's head and shoulders above whatever else is, is out there. Um, but again, you know, for me, I, I don't actively trade crypto. I just, you just buy it and hold it. It's, you know, that, that's always been my uh, way of approaching crypto. But again, you know, I do know there's a lot of guys out there that can lever up uh, quite high and, and take the plunge. So if you do that, you got to look at go charting, right? You got to look at it. Um, gosh, I don't even know what the, there's just so many coins out there. It is just beautiful. Because, you know, again, I like to look at the um, Coinbase data. I don't look at like the Bitstamp stuff, um, you know, Binance, etc. cetera. Um, I, I just stick with Coinbase because that's where um, I, I trade my crypto, quote unquote, trade, just buy and hold. Um, you know, Matic, here you go. You know, I don't know. Let's, uh, let's pull up, uh, I don't know. Honestly, I haven't even gone through all the, all the coins, uh, coin markets that are out there. Well, let's just see. Let's take a look here. Um, I am not a robot. Look at, did I enter the right thing in there? Coin market cap. Coin market cap. Sorry, I'm just a little excited. I don't know what I, the heck I typed in there. Let's just find some of these uh, coins. That they, honestly, I, I'm curious myself if, if some of these. Um, yeah, you're going to want the ones that are on Coinbase. I don't know if that's listed on Coinbase. Um, Algorand. That was one that I was really high on years ago. It hasn't really done much. Algorand. Oh, look at that. Right? It's, just, it's beautiful. Right? You can just get all these things in an instance. Right? Again, this is a, a one-hour chart. And it's just nice to be able to look at it, be able to know that it's there, pull up, um, you know, anytime I want in an instant, right? Rather than have to go in and go through the uh, setting up, you know, the contract in, in NinjaTrader, um, you know, then, then get the data. It's a pain in the butt. It's, it's just nice to have that there. Again, I, I believe you will need to subscribe to the data feed, but the data feed is only like 20 bucks or something like that. So it's, uh, it's a good deal. Anyway, guys. I hope uh, you know this gets you interested in uh, go charting. So you know if, if you're interested in it, my order flow tools are available right now for free until the end of uh, August, of which you know at which point they'll become um, you know a paid add-on. But again, it'll be a small amount. And you know there's just so much that you can do with the uh, order flow in terms of analysis. It's just going to give you an edge over everybody else that's out there you're trading against because remember you know you're not just um you know trading you're trading against other people and information you know, which is provided in the order flow it gives you an advantage in my opinion over everybody else so all right everybody i'll end it there you know i do have a link in the description if you're interested in go charting to get started so i'll see you guys uh, on the next video Bye bye